Hi guys, welcome to Motroids and today we are going to take a look at Triumph's Tiger Sports 660. Now, the Triumph's Tiger range of bikes are known to be hardcore adventure tourers and they are synonymous with going off the road. But, the Tiger Sport range is well, let's say more tamed version of the Tiger range where they are also much more usable in the city. Now, the Triumph Tiger Sport 660 has been launched at Rs 8.95 lakhs X showroom. Do note that this is the introductory price. Now, if you may not know, the Triumph Tiger Sport 660 is based on the Trident 660, which is a naked motorcycle. But Triumph has made a lot of changes to make it stand out and also be true to its ADV capabilities. So the Triumph Tiger Sport 660 is based on the same steel perimeter frame that is similar to the Trident. But the rear subframe has been changed to make it more capable and also again make it more ADV friendly. Now coming to the front, this is where the changes are the most apparent. Now the Trident as you may know features a round headlamp design but the Trident 660 over here gets a split LED design. Uh, this also looks similar to the older Daytona which is really not a bad thing and it gives it a family look. As you move about the split LED headlamps, you get a sizable height adjustable front windscreen which by the way is easily adjustable with one hand on the go according to Triumph. Now on the side you see a half uh, fairing which uh, completes the front look of the bike and which is what majority of the people see. Now this part uh, can be had in three colors. The first is red, the other one's blue and the last one's black. The rest half of the bike is always offered in a graphite black look. In terms of the console over here, you get a, a split TFT display where the front half is a negative display and the lower half is a standard TFT display. Uh, it features information such as your uh, telltale signs, the tachometer, the switchable traction modes, uh, your speed, etc. Now the fuel tank that you see over here is actually 17.2 liters which is much more than the 14 liters of the Trident. Uh, this will obviously aid in long uh, touring which this bike is made for so ensure a better range compared to the Trident. Uh, the seat again has been made a little longer and modified over the standard Trident to make it much more capable of long touring and also this will be much more comfortable for the pillion compared to the Trident. Now the basic suspension setup of the Sport 660 is quite similar to the Trident. It gets 41mm separate uh, function fork and a monoshock with a remote hydraulic preload adjustment. Uh, but again, to make it more ADV friendly, it gets 150mm of more travel on both the ends. Uh, for reference, the Trident gets 120mm at the front and 134mm at the rear. Now though they have increased the suspension travel from the front and the rear, the ground clearance is still not the best. It stands at 162mm which is again 12mm more than the Trident, uh, which points that you cannot go for let's say a very hardcore off-roading but it's good for soft roading at best. Even the tires that it gets, the Michelin Road 5 tires, they are again road bias tires instead of being off-road worthy. So again, this shows that the bike is more suitable for a mix of on-road and a little bit of soft roading. In terms of uh, features, the Tiger Sport 660 gets uh, two riding modes that are road and rain, uh, switchable traction control and dual channel ABS. Again, in terms of engine, the Triumph Tiger Sport 660 is similar to the Trident 660. So here you get a 660cc inline triple motor which produces 81 HP and 64 Newton meters of torque. And in terms of the transmission, you get a 6-speed transmission. Now in terms of the powertrain, again it shares it with the Triumph Trident 660. Uh, it gets a 660cc inline 3-cylinder engine. Uh, which puts down 79 horsepower and 64 newton meters of torque. Uh, transmission duties are taken care of by a 6-speed unit. So this was a walk around of the Triumph Tiger Sport 660 and we will be riding the bike soon to give you our verdict on it. Again, to recap, the price is set at Rs 8.95 lakhs, which is by the way quite premium when compared to the Trident and also its competition. So it goes up against the Kawasaki Vosis 650 and the V-Strong 650. The bike is quite expensive when compared to them but again one thing to note is that this bike is also the most powerful and also the most lightest. But it'll be interesting to see what the people think of it and how the bike fares in the Indian market. Do let us know what you think of the video and subscribe to our channel. This is Faisal signing off.
Till then, rev hard and rev free.